Hi, we have a great component called the uh, Lightning Convert component that you can just use here in your flow. And uh, on top of that, you can obviously show a preview of uh, your uh, um, of your PDF that you are generating, or uh, even uh, download the PDF directly. So in this case, I want to see a preview, but there is something special. I don't want to select the data from uh, data sources, but actually I want to use my flow logic to select all the data that I need. So let's take a look how we go about that. First of all, I have to create my .config. So this is my .config. So I'm going to get the data from the Lightning Convert and I have two data sources here. And these data sources are key value data sources. As you can see, one of them is a single object and the other one is a list of objects. So it means that our multiple records are very possible in this one. Okay, cool. So we have the key value data sources. Then obviously I have a document, a template that I have created. And in this template, it's very uh, simple. So you can see that I just have three, uh, three sets of information from my account and the opportunity. So that's from the single data source. And then I want to repeat this row for each product linked to my data, so, uh, to my opportunity. So um, this data is going to come from my key value data sources. So what I have done in the configuration, I have obviously added the two key value data sources in the configuration. And then I added the, uh, um, <coughs> via the add field button, I added the names of the, uh, um, uh, of the fields manually. So I have to select the names of the fields myself in this case, because it's a key value data source. We can't know which fields you actually want to use. So as you can see, I just uh, added opportunity name. You can select the name of your fields yourself. Then I made the, uh, the configuration. As you can see here, I select the uh, merge field here. Uh, that was in my Word document. And then also I have the data source field that was uh, directly uh, added to my, uh, to my data source. So configuration done. Now let's take a look how we're going to create the, uh, uh, the data and, fee and feed it to our data sources. Um, inside Salesforce, we're going to generate or create the flow. And in this flow, we're going to first select the information that we need. So what I've done here for best practices is actually selected the, uh, the data source via the customer data source ID. This ID is unique over all environments, so you can just hard code it and you can just easily copy that directly from your data source over here. So that one is right here. I copy that and I put it inside my flow to select my data source. Now, um, then I'm going to create, uh, get my opportunity. I'm going to get some account data um, here to, uh, in two different uh, get records settings. And then I'm going to start generating the information or putting the information together that I want as my data source. Now, this is an important step. And I'm going to show you how you must uh, organize your data, because if it's not correct, the system will, of course, not be able to parse your data. So let's digest and see how this data actually looks. We have here, uh, I'm going to go until here, one record. So we can see that it starts with a uh, um, uh, uh, square bracket. Everybody that knows a little bit of JSON knows, okay, a square bracket is a list. Exactly. So what we're building here is a list of texts, a list of strings. And this is one of the strings that we're going to uh, create. And this string actually says this is my, uh, uh, my data source ID. So if I go back to the opportunity key value, you would see that this data source ID is exactly the same thing. So the system needs to know your data source ID. Then it needs to know, uh, then it needs to have a pipe here, a pipe character. And then you're going to uh, feed it the account name. That's the field that you need. So that's the field in your data source that you were uh, creating here. Yeah, account name, as you see. Then, um, okay, let's go back to the Word document. Sorry. Then we have an, uh, a column. So. And then we have the value of that account name. So in this case, the account name is called Igor Strader for some reason. Next to that, we have a semicolon. 
uh, that's to separate off the fields. So we have a field, a column, a value, a semicolon, a field, a column, a value, and so on and so on for each uh, uh, for each tuplet or key value pair for the key uh, for the uh, the field name and the value that you need to have. And you see that there is um, uh, double quotes around it. Again, everybody that knows a little bit of JSON knows, okay, this is how to identify a string. And then we need the end quotes as well. Now, uh, next up is we're going to also feed in the, um, <clears throat> the opportunity products data. So same thing we do here, but first we add a comma. So we need to be able to separate the items in our list. Huh? So this is where I started our list. This is one uh, item in our list. Then we have a comma. Then we start with a second item in our list. So this is again the data source ID, but not the data source ID of uh, the opportunity data, but actually the data source ID of the list, the key value list that we had over here. So this is, a, this is of type list, and this is the, uh, uh, the ID that we are going to use for this list of data. OK, let's go back into the uh, Word document. Uh, then we're going to have, again, a pipe symbol. Uh, and then it's the same thing. So we're going to have the field, column, uh, the value. Semicolon, field, column, value. And then, again, when the data is there, when you have set all of your fields, we're going to have uh, a double quote. And we're going to separate this uh, data. Uh, this is, again, one uh, record that we want. And then we have, uh, for this list data source, we have multiple records. So we're going to, again, have a comma, because we're going to have another item in our uh, JSON list. And in another item in our JSON list, as you can see here, this one is the same ID as this one. So we're going to have multiple uh, lines with the same ID uh, that represent actually multiple records in our data source. Remember, this was a list data source. So again, OK, let's take a look. This is the data we have. We have the semicolon. Uh, again, we are going to have another record with this data. This, uh, the, uh, sorry, the comma. Um, this also is the comma. Uh, then another uh, uh, record with the data. So, OK, we have the comma and so on and so on until we have that entire list. When all the data is there, at the end, we're going to close with a square bracket. So, again, this is JSON uh, notation, but there is only one option here in Salesforce to pass on this uh, this data. And that's this uh, is the way to do it. I'm very sorry. I wish you could pass on some Apex defined variables, but uh, uh, that's does not uh, is not allowed by the Salesforce. So unfortunately, we're stuck with this. Cool. Now, how we're going to generate this data, put this data together. Let's take a look. Yeah. As you saw here, we have now uh, gotten the, uh, the, uh, the, the, um, the data source. Uh, we got the opportunity data. We got some uh, account data. Uh, so everybody knows how this gets uh, records work. We are hard coded here for my uh, testing purposes. Obviously, you're not going to do that. Uh, I have uh, set some account data here uh, where we're going to get some account fields. So. This data now has to be put inside the context like it shows over here, highlighted over here. How do we do that? Very easy. We're going to use an assignment. And in this assignment, we're going to set a certain uh, variable, in this case, opportunity data. And we're going to first add the key value ID, so the data source ID that I got from the get records, and put that ID. Then we're going to add a pipe. After the pipe, we're going to add account name and a column. So uh, again, take a look at the uh, structure that we need here. We need the uh, field name, a column, and then the value. So next up, we're going to set the value, uh, which indeed comes from the account that I have uh, selected. Then we're going to do a semicolon because this is a new field. So we have to separate out the fields. Uh, we're going to have the field name, that's uh, account number and then a column, and then the value, and then a semicolon, field name, column, value. And that's how we put together this first set of information. 
as you can see right here. Okay, now this is of course just only this set of information, so we need to uh, get all of this, and then we have to wrap it inside and uh, uh, inside this uh, these square brackets. So let's cancel this. Uh, let's go. We're gonna get now all the products, as you can see. Uh, but before we're gonna get the products, we're already gonna start adding. Uh, in a new in another variable, this is called the all data variable, which is also just a text variable, as you can see. But this all data variable will have all the information that you see over here. So the square brackets, uh, the uh, double quotes, the information, the commas, all of the uh, other records that I need that we're going to put into the uh, all data uh, variable. Let's take a look. In the all data variable. So I'm going to start setting a square bracket and a double quote. That's exactly what you see over here. Square bracket, double quote. Then the value that I have for opportunity data in my variable opportunity data, and then close the double quote. So now I have up to here. This line I have now. So now I have to start repeating all of my opportunity products to complete my set of information to generate my documents. Okay. So we have uh, retrieved our products over here. We're going to loop through all the products, uh, as you would uh, imagine. And then we're going to set uh, a variable called a single product. Uh, I would like to work with an intermediate uh, variable just to make uh, my life easier so I can have a good overview. Uh, here I hard coded the ID of the, uh, the product. Obviously, you can just do a get records to get the, uh, uh, the product, uh, to get the, uh, um, the opportunity products key value data via this uh, customer data source ID. But here, for demo reasons, just hard coded. Then I need a pipe. Then I need the uh, field name and, uh, a, and a column. And then I need the value. And this value is going to be the name of my product. Then I need a semicolon to separate out the fields because I'm going to have multiple fields here. The name of the field is price, a column. So because now the value is going to come and then I'm going to set the value to that. So what I have created now is exactly this. That's what I have created. When that is done, we're going to add it into the all data data uh, variable. So that's going to happen over here. So we're going to uh, say a comma because it's multiple uh, data in our list. So that's this comma over here that we're going to add. Then we're going to say uh, a, a double quote. We're going to have the value of our single product and another double quote. So at this moment, our um, our all data would look like this, what is now highlighted right now. As this is a loop, we will go through this uh, process multiple times. So it means that we're going to get all of the product information, that's this, and then we're going to add a comma, a double quote, the product information, and another double quote. Uh, and then a loop again, loop it again and again and again until we have all the information. And guess what? At the end, indeed, you have to do one more thing. You have to close off the uh, uh, the all data with a double, uh, sorry, with a square bracket. So let's use the operator add everywhere. Otherwise, you're going to overwrite your uh, uh, your all data uh, every time. So that's not what you want. So that's done now. And then we're going to feed in this information into our um, here flat data source data variable. And that's just my all data variable that I'm going to put in here. So that's it. Well, let's take a look. Let's run this. Uh, I'm going to run it in debug mode. And then, OK, yeah, let's run. So it will now start generating all the information. See, it was super fast. It's already done. So it got all the information and it nicely put that over here in this structure. Again, when the structure is not correct, please validate it with the debug to see if there is a nice, uh, if there is always a, a double quote 
around the uh, records that you want to uh, want to get that uh, that they are nicely separated with the uh, pipe with the uh, um, the column with the semicolon uh, and that every information is there and that it starts and ends with a uh, square bracket because if this is not the case then the system will stop and crash I'm very sorry uh, that's how Salesforce just works they don't allow us to do uh, any better than this so uh, you can validate the information yourself and then uh, you can see if it's correct or not correct. Uh, we don't have to do that for you. Eh? Okay, so that's it. That's how you set up this entire info system.